what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 3 to sims 4 series where i am recreating the sims 3 families and their homes in the sims 4 i hope that makes sense every time i say it i'm like wow that's like a mouthful and it's kind of confusing but i think y'all catch the drift of you know what i'm doing with this series and i'm so happy you guys are enjoying it as much as I am but anyways today we are recreating Claire Urson from The Sims 3. She lives in Sunset Valley by the beach and she is a fisherwoman. Her little biography says Claire Urson is a reclusive angler living by the ocean. Since she lives alone she is hopeful that no one will notice her unexpectedly unexpectedly changing waistline. Um, so Claire worked in the criminal career track and she is also pregnant with her first child, the father being her next door neighbor and ex-boyfriend Jared Frio, which we will be recreating the Frio brothers this weekend. So if you wanted to download them together, I did that so you know they'll come out around the same time. But when the family is first played, Claire is 16 days away from being an elder. So in my creative sim, I thought she was a young adult. Um, but then I realized that she was actually an adult in The Sims 3. So I went back in and I aged her up so it would be correct. And I also cheated through MC Command. Um, so she is pregnant with a little girl just like she is in The Sims 3. It's always a little girl. Um, when you go into The Sims 3, she always gives birth to a girl. So I cheated for you and she's pregnant and she is an adult. So if you want to download her, yes, she has CC, but you know, she's pregnant and everything else is correct. So go ahead and download her if you want. But yeah, so she's kind of a loner, but she's good friends with River Mac Irish, which is a teenager, you know, from the single mom's household, which I think is kind of weird because she's an adult and she's friends with the teenager. Um, but who am I to judge? Uh, they kind of remind me of each other, you know, kind of still um like loners and real quiet um kind of have the same style maybe that's why i don't know <laughs> but anyways a really cool fun fact that i did not know about is that it has been speculated that she is a nod to claire the bear from the sims hot date if any of you can throw it back all the way to the sims hot date um due to their similar first names and the fact that urson means of relating to or resembling bears her appearance and clothing are bear-like she has the angler trait and is a kleptomaniac meaning she has a tendency to go through her neighbor's garbage cans and these traits suggest bear-like qualities so that was really cool that was something that I did not know I never really played with Claire to be honest in The Sims 3 I don't know why I just didn't <laughs> I don't know if it was like her style and her biography didn't like appeal to me but ever since I started like creating her and building her house I feel really bad because I never gave her a chance I think she's a really cool sim and has a really cool story so yeah, and the creative sim for Claire, I think she turned out more similar to the Sims, her Sims 3 version of herself, if that makes sense, than any sim I've recreated yet as far as like her style. She had the beanie, she had the same, you know, jacket and sweater or almost the same jacket and sweater. And I really tried to give her that bear-like resemblance that she had in the Sims 3 since that is a big part of who she is. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I think she has like a really fun story and, you know, I, that's why I wanted to create the Frio Brothers after I created her. That way you guys could download them both if y'all wanted to tell their story. Um, she will not be pregnant with his child. It's just going to be her genetics, I think. Yeah, it should just be her genetics. But, you know, if you wanted to cheat it, you could. I didn't know any way to cheat that without y'all having both of the families, if that makes any sense. But anyways yeah i think she has like a really cool story and um i don't like the fact that she's a getaway driver in the criminal career track and she has a child on the way i think that's kind of weird because when i look at claire and you read about her being like a loner and like this outdoors uh fishing woman hey you know she loves nature love being outdoors and all that fun stuff i just don't see her being a criminal but hey who am i to judge but i don't know i just don't like that and i think that if i was to play her I would give her a better job that better provides for her child because I would hate for her to like get in trouble and like lose her child or just be a bad influence on her child. So I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. But now I am building her house, which turned out really, really nice. It's um, supposed to be like a beach house. Well, it doesn't look like a beach house. It looks like a Victorian home, obviously, to me. Uh, but um, she's supposed to be like a fisherwoman, you know, living by the water on the beach and 
I really hope that in the future, after we get university, which I think there's a lot more content coming for The Sims 4, because, you know, on our update, which I will talk about later, <laughs> um, they changed the map to where it's, like, smaller, and I seen where Sim Girl Kate, she made a little tweet and was like, this is my favorite part of the update, it just looks so clean, and there's so much more room for future stuff, and there was a lot of room, so that really excites me, but anyways, besides university, I really hope we get some kind of beachy world, beachy themed pack, um, because we don't have a beach, really, like, I don't know, it's just limited lots to choose from when you're building, like, a beach house or something, which isn't fair. Um, I have the one Goddard family, um, living on Windenburg Island because their house, they're supposed to be, like, beach bums. Um, and then, of course, the Frio brothers and Claire Urson also live right there along the beach. And, um, I don't know, I really wanted to put their driveways in because I think it's like a big part of their house and the exterior of their house so I didn't want to put it on the island of Windenburg because I mean I know we don't have cars in The Sims 4 but if I want to give that illusion that we do or we could I don't want to put it on an island in Windenburg because it's not realistic you feel me so I ended up building her house and the Frio brothers house in Brindleton Bay, uh, which I think her house looks decent here. I think it would, like, the style of it would fit in more with Willow Creek, obviously. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. I think it looks nice. And you'll see, uh, I think this weekend, Saturday, is when I should be uploading the Frio Brothers. Their house kind of doesn't fit in very well with Brindleton Bay, if you ask me. It's just too beachy, but I, I wanted to put their driveway, so I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> but anyways, y'all. I think her house turned out nice. I hope you like it. It does not include any custom content, so if you want to download it, you know what to do. <laughs> My origin ID and everything is in the comments, or not comments, in the description down below. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, so can we talk real quick before we get into the interior about this new pack? Okay. I love it. <laughs> this new pack, I mean, this new update, this new patch, whatever. Well, and the pack, the expansion pack coming up. I, I haven't gotten it yet. It's pre-ordered, but I know I'm going to love it. But this new patch, this new update, I know a lot of people were like, no, I'm not updating my game because I don't want it to break my mods. Oh, it's worth, it's worth it. And also, the person who does, um, MC Command, I forgot their name, Dead, Deadpool, I don't know if, like, his proper name, but he's amazing, and he has already updated MC Command, so, hallelujah, I will be putting that back in my game in just a few minutes, only had to play off camera in my own little personal current household without it, and it wasn't that big of a deal, but I'm definitely going to need it for my new Get Famous LP, so I'm really glad that he was able to fix it, but other than that, I mean, it was a mega, mega update. Obviously, y'all know what we got. We got the terrain tool, which I have had a lot of people ask me, have you built any houses yet? Have you played around with it? And I did play around with it a little bit. Not really, <laughs> but I do plan on it. I do plan on next week building for the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series, the goth household and some of the bigger households. Because some of those houses use, like, terrain. You can see, like, there's a difference in the terrain and then, um different platforms, which we now have that option if we don't want to have everything on the lot the same platform, the same height, we can adjust that individually as rooms, which is something that has really bothered me when built in the past, so I don't know, and I personally think that it's um, a nod to cars, because I'm still never going to forget that Simguro Romeo, on the announcement, where they announced this terrain tool and this patch and everything, he built a garage, and I noticed, and I've seen a lot of people on Twitter notice, that they changed the map view to where you travel, there's a little car, it's a car, and it says visit, it was never a car before. Why is there a car there now? And then if you think about um, Del Sol Valley, there's cars parked along the street, there's limousines, and there's like driveways, and it just looks a lot different than all the other worlds, and it looks like it's more accessible for cars, which is very exciting, and I'm still waiting for them to announce it because I really do think it's coming. They're just kind of teasing us with it, but yeah. Also, um, we got the new Stylus career, which I have not tried yet, but I think it's really cool. We've got some really cool new Create-A-Sim objects and even some 
build or not build by mode um, objects we got the tablet the drawing architect tablet um, and then we have like the vision board type thing uh, we got some new hairs we got the new challenge I don't know I feel like I'm missing something a lot of bug fixes but um, it's amazing I'm just like really impressed I feel like they're spooling us I really do but yeah so much exciting stuff coming um, I'm anxious I'm so ready for freaking get famous it's not even funny I, I can't even focus on anything else I'm just so ready to get started on that but anyways back to our Claire Urson video here let me not get off too much too off topic too much wow it's uh currently like 8 30 in the morning which you're probably thinking that's not early well i woke up an hour ago <laughs> so it's pretty early for me i'm still kind of like learning how to talk i have to learn how to talk all over again but yeah for the interior of her house i really wanted to give all of her personality which we obviously know she's into fishing you can look at her and tell she's not girly at all. So I did not make her house girly, but I think it turned out so freaking cute. Um, I really wanted to go for like the dark wood. I wanted to use the wood from the outdoor retreat pack that we got. You know, where it looks um, like it would belong in like a wooden cabin or something like that. I just think it looks very outdoorsman like. I can see Claire really being into fishing and doing all that fun stuff and I also debugged the buy mode and I took the little fish on the walls and hung them up throughout the house so it's kind of like her mounting her fish and showing off what she loves to do so yeah I don't know I think it turned out really really cute it is kind of like odd shaped and I think there is potential if you wanted to fool around with a house plan or floor plan of this house you could possibly make it three bedroom but I stuck with the, I'm out of breath, <laughs> I stuck with the floor plan from The Sims 3 and I created two bedrooms. So throughout the house you're going to see little hints of like kid stuff. I did give her a nursery for her baby since she is pregnant. Um, in The Sims 3, I want to say, I think one of those rooms does have a, does have a crib in it. I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be completely wrong. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I wanted it to, you know, her house to be prepared for her baby, which obviously I don't think that Claire was expecting to have a child, especially with Jared Frio, who obviously manipulates people and he's not a good person. We'll talk about him in the next part, but I don't know. I just, I feel bad for her, but I think that, you know, even though that's not something she wanted because she is an adult and she's like a loner and I'm interested to see how Jared got her to go out with him or get in her pants because like her personality to me they just don't line up at all so that's like an interesting story but they actually dated so hmm but yeah I don't know I just I feel bad for her and I, I just feel like she'd still be a good mom and she would raise her kid to the best ability that she could being a single mom I don't think that she would want help from anybody or ever want to be in a relationship but that's just me um and her kitchen is supposed to be like a little micro kitchen I think that's it was called something Something like that when I was reading about it and it is very small I was like wow why is our kitchen so small this is actually like a pretty big decent sized house but I think it turned out really cute and I really like it <laughs> um, I think it you would think that it would stand out as big as the house is like the dining and living area but I think it like tucks in that little corner real cute and I think it turned out really nice and then this bathroom over here um, I struggled a little bit trying to figure out where I wanted to put the washer and dryer because obviously I'm trying to add a washer and dryer and laundry to all these houses and most of the time it has to go into the bathroom unless they have like this extra space in their house that I can make like a little cubby for laundry um, and it was just an awkward shaped room but it turned out nice you know you had to manipulate it a little bit and put the little columns there on the side but yeah I don't know I really like how her house turned out and like I said it is two bedroom but you know you could play around with it and you know give her another bedroom if you wanted to but I don't know I think this house is really cute I like the Victorian style houses it's probably one of my favorite style houses to build in the sims for i don't know i just think they look so cute because we have the octagonal and the pentagon and hexagonal however you want to say that roofing so it's really fun to play around with that yeah y'all pray for me though because i am about to start venturing into the bigger households 
in The Sims 3 and try to recreate them, which includes the goth family, which their house is crazy. It has like a lot of terrain, um, like different terrain. How that came out really. <laughs> How come every time I try to just English and speak, it just comes out all weird? Anyways, they have like a lot of different terrain in their yard. Um, it's just the goth manor it's extravagant what do you expect so i'm excited about that and then also we have the land grab family freaking mansion and the alto mansion Whew, we have so many families sunset valley the base game in the sims 3 it's crazy how big it was compared to like the sims 4 if you think about it but oh my goodness we have so many families to do and i love the series so much i'm having so much fun with it um that I'm already two families ahead right now. I've actually finished the Frio Brothers house. I just need to do the voiceover on that to come up this Saturday. And then I also started working on the Sekitomo, Sekimoto. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I promise I'm going to practice saying their name correctly before I upload their video. I started working on their house, but I think I'm going to wait to upload that until later because I do want to try to build the goth household and use that terrain manipulation. Or maybe I'll just do my own little speed build because I do need to start practicing with the terrain because it took me this long to get decent at building and roofing and all that hard stuff now i gotta learn how to do it with terrain and how to make it look nice so yeah um it's gonna be a struggle and i really gotta get on it gotta get practicing on it but also thanks to jen and urban sims i also just started my own legacy challenge in my personal gameplay um if you follow her which i think we all do and if you don't what's wrong with you she's my absolute favorite but she just started her own little personal gameplay for a legacy challenge and uh, i don't know i've i've attempted it before but i always cheat I really do <laughs> I don't like starting from scratch I don't like having no money I don't like struggling like I, I like I don't mind struggling having my sims work and like oh crap the bills are due I need money that's completely different than like building your house from the ground up but I think it's a challenge I think it's fun and that's something that I started uh, with a male sim I did a male instead of a female which is a little bit different for me too I thought it'd be fun uh, his name is Flint Kingston so it is the Kingston legacy and I am working on him right now I've been playing him and it's been a lot of fun but yeah i will update y'all with that soon once i get to a point where i can update y'all if that's something that y'all want to see let me know <laughs> did y'all hear that phone ring <laughs> oh i gave it away i'm at work <laughs> i should be working but i'm doing my voiceover because um i'm behind i'm pretty much on top of my game usually and ahead but um it's been a slow week and it's been rainy and cold so my boss has been staying in the office all day with me which sucks <laughs> so i haven't had time to you know do my voiceovers and i've been building that's why i'm so many builds ahead i just haven't had the time to do my voiceover so yeah we don't start for another hour though seeing patience so it's okay if i do this right you know <laughs> I mean, I, I am blessed with a job that is very laid back and allows me to, you know, get paid good money, learn to grow in the career, and then also I can play The Sims in my spare time, which is great. So yeah, but anyways, y'all, this video is starting to wrap up, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked her house and how she turned out. I think she's really cute, and I wish I would have given her a chance in The Sims 3 and played out her story, so I don't know. I low-key may plop her into a save and kind of play out her life and have her give birth to her child because, I don't know, I really like her, and I will get her out of that criminal career track. That's not a good role model, Claire. You're not being a good role model for your child. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and oh my god, thank you so much for getting me to 1k. What even? Y'all are awesome, but I will talk to y'all later, and stay tuned for my upcoming Sims 4, I'm about to say Sims 3, Sims 4, Get Famous LP. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.